Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Raycon, and you guys already know the deal. I've showed you plenty of times. Raycon makes all kinds of sound devices, but these are their everyday wireless Bluetooth earbuds. I particularly love these Bluetooth earbuds because they connect to my phone, my computer, and you just pop them into this charging case. They're magnetic, and you can just charge them right up. Plus, it protects them if you just chuck them in your backpack. Not to mention, these are Alexa compatible, Siri. You can make phone calls. And today's Raycon plug is the most valuable one, I think, of all time because they have some holiday specials going for you guys. Obviously, Raycon's wireless earbuds, headphones, and speakers offer premium sound, almost custom-like fitment. They don't fall out of your ears no matter how hard you try, and up to 54 hours of battery life on some devices. Knock out your holiday shopping list and get 30% off while shopping Raycon's holiday bundle deals. And if the bundle deal doesn't work out for you, Raycon is offering you guys 20% off site-wide if you use code EARLYBF, and that gives you access to their early Black Friday sale but you do have to use buyraycon.com slash Cletus McFarlane. And Raycon has a ton of deals coming this entire holiday season, so I'll try and keep the description box updated, but you can always go to buyraycon.com slash Cletus McFarlane for Raycon's best deals site-wide. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cletus McFarlane YouTube channel. Well, guys, this engine was supposed to end up in Ruby, but since old Leroy is down for the count and Ruby's running so good, we got this dart block. 427 from texas speed it's been sitting around for a little while now so it's actually the perfect use to put it in the car obviously we've bent some rods and leroy so the old backup 427 is going in leroy is coming apart right now the boys have already pulled apart some stuff up top pulling the transmission out and we'll get this thing hopefully back up and running in about a day leroy thought he was getting yeah. a little retirement package not yeah, happening. Leroy, what is your deal, bro? Do you want to do you want to go fast or what? With that day, you know, I, I got to be the one. Uh, we're gonna slow it down a little bit. We're gonna well, yeah. we're gonna redo our dome pressure lines, our boost controller lines, so that it's not Make sure it's all dialed. Again. Yeah, and then we're gonna beat the heck out this trans tunnel like it owes us money. Try okay? and get some we're extra gonna, room. We're make some room in there. And then All right. we're going to put lock nuts on everything because it's amazing how many things we pulled off that are loose. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> when you're freaking ripping, dude, stuff comes loose. The taking apart of Leroy 2.0 begins for Leroy 2.1. Yeah. Yeah. Revision <laughs> 2. Yep. Well, all right, guys. We got Leroy's engine out and flipped upside down. It looks like we only bent four rods. Talk about a W. That one's bent. That one's bent. That one's definitely bent. That one's a little bit bent. And then these ones, arguably okay. Hey, there's no holes in the block. That's yeah. a win. Yeah, the That's block is good. That's what happens when you're an idiot and do what we do. And Wait, pinch you didn't even see my necklace, that. man. Where'd it go? Bell housing. And this is the line. Yep, there she is. That was the death of this engine. Well, the engine's actually fine. The heads are fine, the block's fine, the crank's probably fine. The rods are a little tweaked. Tough break. Could be worse. Could have a window. Could have a window. So Leroy's backup motor is going in right now and hopefully we'll be up and running here shortly. Guys, you know it's a good day when you got 20 plus bottles of nitrous in the back of your truck. And I'm up here at Bradenton Performance Supply right down the road. We're gonna get these bottles filled up for Le Mullets. Some of them got a little bit in them, but we got to have full nitrous bottles for the 2.4 hours of lay mullets drivers. Each Crown Vic gets a bottle, 10 pound bottle. And then we got James bottles for white trash because he'll be running his burnout truck this weekend. So we're getting dialed in. All right, boys, we're getting the burnout cars going for this weekend. We got Roman coming. So we're getting corn cob up and rolling. Crown Vicks are getting cages. Let's roll over to the Freeman factory. We'll take the old giveaway truck. She's a bad unit. Zach took her out this weekend. Look at this thing shining. They're looking so good, man. Gosh dang. Look at this bad girl firing right up. You know the deal, boys. You know the deal. I love this truck because it drives like bone freaking stock when you just want to cruise it. And that's all I ask, you know? If I want to get down the road nice and smooth, it's nice that it can switch back to that. It doesn't drive like a freaking race truck, you know, the whole drive. Ah, looky there. We got the bleachers for the center of the track near the burnout pad, which we've been working on the burnout pad today. So that's looking prime time. 
Rip the F-150 real quick. <laughs> and we got Parker in the safe spot, you know. I don't want to scratch up your guys' truck or get her dusty, so I'll park her over here. Nice safe spot for you. Dude, Jolly Rogers, what are you guys doing here? Came to Florida, huh? Yeah, going yeah, for it is. is it getting cold up in the Seattle area? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 17 degrees when they left. We'll bring you down to Florida, dude. We don't have a jet boat track, but yeah, we got a Crown Vic. Winter, uh, winter home. There yeah. you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How's the Crown Vic guys doing out here? Oh, just Crown Vicking yeah, it up. Just having fun. <laughs> you guys over Crown Vic's yet? About seven races. Ago. I was about to say about three matches ago. <laughs> All right, we got some we got some good old cages going in these bad units. That one's spray painted chrome, courtesy of Side by Side Blog. It needed a little refresh. Yeah, it covered the gauges a little bit in this one. Yeah, a lot of the cars from Bristol that we had issues with right before the race started were totally fine. Just like shift linkages broke and random stuff. So yeah, all four of those are. We'll out see. Back. Yeah. Perfect condition. Yeah, they're all just ready. So you'll see a couple cars out racing in Les Mullets that were racing in Bristol because the car's still good. Crown Vicks, they just go the extra mile. They never stop. So getting these things geared up for tomorrow. We got some Nitto tires right here. You know the deal. We run the MT555 G2s on everything. We got the Nitto trailer here. So just getting cars ready, getting seat belts in and all our stuff wrapped up, nitrous bottles and be ready to race. All right, so in the track guys, we got the burnout pad, which is absolutely massive. Look at it right there. But that's only about half of it because the burnout pad is going to come all the way out to here for extra long tip-ins. So the cars will actually start right here and have all of this run up to shoot into the huge pad. And then they can go all the way down to the other side of the burnout pit. For those of you coming on Saturday or watching the live stream on Saturday, this is going to be the rowdiest burnout pad we've ever had. And the cars are starting on asphalt, which is going to be really fast. And then the concrete is real slippery. So... Should be insane. I'm a little worried I don't have my bumper on neighbor, but it is what it is. And then check this out, guys. We got our concrete poured, and you can see it has a very steeply elevated edge to it. So I was going for the redneck Formula One curbs. So it may be faster to kind of stay outside of this, but if you're in a Crown Vic bombing through here, you will definitely get kind of thrown up off of the curb a little bit. It's got a nice big jump to it. This came out freaking fantastic. So really happy with the curbs. And I think my grass will be extremely happy with the curbs. I'm gonna put some water barrels right here so people aren't cutting into the grass even more. Honestly, with how aggressive this curb is, if you cut into the grass, it may just blow your tire right off on the inside bead, but we'll see. And we got the same deal going over here, but this one is even more aggressive. I don't know if you guys can tell that big slump that we put in there. Adam, you gonna paint some Formula One lines on here? <laughs> yeah, man, what do you wanna do? Yeah, I just wanna do red and white. Wow. Kinda, I feel like kinda starting it right here. You want it on the pad itself? Yeah, just a little bit. I think okay. like square it off right here and then just start. And obviously not the whole curve, so maybe just like two feet down off of it. And just follow the curve up. Yeah. Follow that curve and then I guess we'll stop it right here. Perfect. So it'll be have a nice squared off edge on both yeah, sides. And from my research, every box is symmetrical, so yeah, I don't know, whatever, like two feet or something, yeah, two by two, two by three or something. 
whatever you think, bro. It's a Freedom Factory Formula <laughs> One curb for late mullets. We got our water barrels ready. We'll get those filled up tomorrow. I suppose we'll put them right here just to keep people out of the grass for sure. See how well that works again. Last year didn't work real well. We'll be dialed in. Stay this way. I know. That's all I'm asking. Just stay out of the grass a little bit. Have you driven one? Yeah, dude. It freaking hops my Raptor up. It's freaking sick. I mean, it doesn't put it on two wheels, but yeah. it's definitely spicy. Right. I was going to show them, but there's already concrete in the way, so. You can see some tire marks right oh, here yeah, from yeah. the Raptor. Pretty sick. This burnout pad, though, dude. Shoo -wee. Super long. You're starting from way back I know, there. on asphalt, so you know you're going to be hauling when yeah. you get in there. The wheel speed is going to be insane. <laughs> it's going to be good. <laughs> Flowmaster side needs an update, dude. This thing looks beat.